Welcome to Burton's Media Group. Today we're going to work with Corona SDK and develop an app that uses the new Corona Ads. Corona Ads is really easy to integrate into your app. Matter of fact, it's probably one of the easiest that I've worked with for integrating into your app and getting started with. To start with Corona Ads, all you need to do is go to monetize.coronalabs.com and sign up for an account. Once you're approved for that, you just simply need to integrate it into your app. Integration is really simple. In your build settings for the Corona app, you're going to go in and cut and paste all the material that's provided on their website, integrated, of course, with anything else that you've got in there. And then inside your app itself, you're going to require Corona ads, initialize it with your Corona ads app number, and then call your ad listener. And then anytime you want to show or hide an ad after that, it's coronaads.show or coronaads.hide. So let's take a look at how I integrated it into a real simple app. Here's my app. And as you can see, my build settings are exactly the same as what was on the monetizecoronalabs.com website. So there's my build settings. My main, I did a very simple design. What it's designed to do is it's going to show both types of ads, banner and interstitial. And what I did, so let's walk through it real quick. We'll initialize and require our plugin of Corona ads, and I'm also using the widget tool for handling the button to switch back and forth between interstitial and banner ads. We're going to have a top banner and an interstitial ad. This will take automatically take care of placement and then I created a show ad function which goes through and depending on what the previous type of ad was it'll switch what the ad is. So I've got ad 1 and ad 2. Ad 1 will show banner ads, ad 2 will show the interstitial ads. And first thing it does is hide any previous ad, show the new ad, and then switch to the next type of ad for the next time the button is pressed. We have an ad listener and all it's doing is checking to see if the initialization has succeeded. If it has succeeded, it'll set add to one for calling show ad and then call sh show ad. And then we have our initialization. This is required. You gotta do a corona ads dot init and pass it your number. This is my number. Feel free to use it. You'll make me lots of money for your ad. Uh, but I would recommend getting your own number through monetization so that you're the one actually making money from this. And then is passed, it'll automatically call ad listener based upon the event coming back and once it's initialized call the show ad. And then I just simply have a easy show button uh, using the widget. It just has a label at the bottom called that says change the ad. When you click on it, it'll automatically go through and call show ad to switch back and forth between the two different types of ads. So let's take a look at it running. Here I've got the app running and as you can see it initializes and pulls up the banner ad at the top. I click on the change ad and goes to interstitial type of ad. You do need to say no to close the interstitial ad or yes to install the app. That's always a nice thing. Then you're making lots of money off of your app. But if you click on no, it'll close it. And then I can click on change ad and it'll go back to the original banner ad. So let's look at some of the results. Do be aware that all ads especially with the Corona SDK, do have to, you have to be deployed to the device for ads to work correctly. Ads will not work inside the simulator, so you do need to make sure that you have deployed to a device. I built this and went ahead and just simply did a test deploy to a device through Xcode. Um, would work equally as well if I built it for Android, put it on my test device for Android. So both methods work just fine. Um, but you do have to deploy to device to be able to test your ads. So let's take a look at the results. As I said, I deployed this a little bit earlier today, showed a few different ads. Let's see what kind of results. It does do a really nice job on the Corona ads to be able to show what kind of results you're getting. So here's my dashboard from today. I'm showing that I had 15 ads. I swapped back and forth a few times over the last month or so. I've been working with a couple of different apps and doing some testing and here's the results. You might notice that the tests that I did today did generate, according to the statistics, a lot more revenue than what the other app that I've got out there was doing. Um, Three cents compared to 13 cents and twice as many impressions for the first app. This is because I'm using interstitial ads 
in the Corona Ads test app that I published. So interstitial ads will generate a lot more income. Uh, there's always a give and take with interstitials. A lot of players don't like interstitial ads, whereas they generate a lot more revenue for you as a developer. There's a lot of discussion going on there. I personally like the idea of rewarding your players for looking at an interstitial ad, give them some kind of credits or gold or gems or whatever you're using as currency inside of your game or your app and basically giving them a thank you for doing it because they are supporting your game every time they do look at an interstitial ad. Hopefully you found this helpful and useful. If you have other things that you'd like to see demonstrated or implemented in the Corona SDK, leave a comment down below. We have a lot more tutorials and lessons forthcoming. If you'd like to follow what's happening, you can follow us on Twitter at Dr. Brian Burton or Facebook at Burton's Media Group, or follow us on our website, burtonsmediagroup.com. If you'd like notification through YouTube, hit the like or subscribe button. 